Hi everyone. So someone recently reached out and asked if I would make a tutorial for people who experience limited mobility. Um, so I'm going to be doing a video on the wrap style that I generally do the most for myself, which is tails to one side. For this video, I am using the Boo Boo Moose shaper in the color blonde and our suede wrap in the shade smoke. So for this tutorial, I'm gonna be doing it one-handed and I'm gonna be using my non-dominant hand, my left hand. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by putting the wrap on, but having one side much shorter than the other. I want my tails to be on the left, so I'm starting my wrap with my short tail on my right. So we're gonna start by putting the wrap on and we're gonna want tails shorter on the left side, but I do, on the right side, but I do want it to be longer than what it currently is. So I'm just going to pick it up and move it over until it's the length that I want it to be at. This is a little bit longer. So I'm gonna just pull it back a little bit. This is perfect. So we're gonna, I think for me right now, what would be easier to do is get the excess in the back keep this straight and then bring it angle to the side if you prefer straight ahead straight through uh, the front of your head you can totally keep it straight but as you know me I prefer angled so I am putting it on at an angle we're gonna take both tails to the back and then I'm gonna show you you'll take it to the back and then you're going to crisscross. I'm taking the shorter one here, putting it on the left. And then I'm going to take the right, this longer one, and I'm going to take it over my right shoulder. Okay. Now that we have um, the short one here, this longer one here, we're going to work with the longer side. So always what I say when dealing with suede or any fabric that has the right side on the top and the wrong side on the bottom. You're gonna wanna make sure that the wrong side of your suede is on the top. So when you fold your sides over it and when you bring it up, the soft side, the right side of the suede is gonna be showing. So I have it folded and I'm gonna bring it up and over. Right now, it's a little bit more narrow than what I want it to be. I do want it to cover more surface area on my head. So I'm just going to pull it a little bit because I do know that there is more under here. So I'm just pulling it. And there we go. We have it angled. Anything that like looks funny, we can always go through and fix at the end. So don't worry about that. So we're again, working with the longer tail, taking it through the back, bringing it forward. And then we're gonna bring this one up and over again. And as you can see, the suede is really such a nice fabric. It just like pleats itself. Um, okay, now we're here. At this point, what I do is I take the longer tail of the two and then I use that one to make the knot. So because this one is the longer one, I'm gonna bring this one here, pull this out from the back, loop it through like so. And then in order to tighten it, I'm gonna bring this one that's in the front, I'm gonna put it under my chin. And then I'm pulling this back one to make the knot tighter. Um, sometimes some of our wraps will be longer than others, so then your tails will be longer. Um, but yeah. So at this point, after I finish tying and wrapping is when I go through and if I wanna add more pleats, I add more pleats. I'll generally go feel the back of the wrap, see if anything needs to be tucked. Like over here, I can tell this needs to be tucked. Feel through. And 
that is it i hope this was helpful as usual if you ladies have any video requests that i can do and help with please let me know